Guys, I am out here at this Forest River dealer event and I want to show you a really cool compact travel trailer slash toy hauler that has an interesting floor plan that I haven't really seen before. So you're not going to want to miss this video. Hang tight. I'll be right back. So this is the Black Label Wolf Pup. It is the 18RJBBL. These names are getting really long. It's got a cool little black label template they put on the side there. Runs on a single axle with a really aggressive off-road looking tire and a wheel that looks very similar to what I put on my cargo trailer. Has frameless windows on the outside, has laminated sidewalls, and it also has this cool little scene light on the outside, which is an LED light. Coming around, it's gonna get a little loud because I'm gonna be right next to a generator, so hopefully you can hear me. Looking at the numbers on this unit, it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,999 pounds and a cargo capacity of 1,240 pounds. And you might say that the gross vehicle weight rating on this is rather high, and the reason for that is because it is also a toy hauler. Now I would like to see dual axles on any toy hauler, the last thing you want is to have something heavy in the back and to have a tire blow out and really cause an issue, but this is designed to be a lightweight toy hauler. Let's take a look at the outside of it real quick. This rides on a traditional leaf sprung suspension. I kind of thought it would be a torsion suspension because a lot of these smaller units like this tend to put torsion suspension on them. You can see off the back, it's got an interesting tie down strap right there, but it also has this nice door that drops down to load and unload your toys. Nice American flag emblem right there. Plus you have a really bright LED spotlight up top there, which is really cool. LED accent lights all the way around. Again, it might get loud again because I'm going to be close to a generator. This is the rear vent. You have the front vent that's going to be on the opposite side to allow cross ventilation. That is going to be behind your cooktop area so it can ventilate any air. You also have a light on this side as well. And all your connections are going to be up there between the furnace and the outside little shower area. Not going to get over there because it's probably going to be a little bit too loud. All right, so right here you have your space to put an outside TV. This is your power connections. This is your HDMI and your cable connections. And then there is your mount for your TV. This has the Moride Step Above system on it. Coming inside, this is nice. It has a queen size bed right here. And it has an interesting little bunk right here. And I don't necessarily know how much room that would really give anybody if they were up there. Unless I'm missing something here, because between this edge and the top, there's maybe 14 inches. You'd have to be really small to sleep up there, and I don't know if I'd feel safe. This is more for cargo, in my opinion. Take this thing off, and then you have a nice shelf there to load cargo. Again, queen-size bed. It's tucked in real nice between two windows. And here is your toy hauler garage area slash living area. So you have a huge Furion refrigerator freezer in here, much bigger than I thought it would have. And then you have this really small two burner cooktop, like really small. This thing's probably only about a foot wide total, but it does have two burners on it. Interesting. You have your furnace down here. You have one of these round basin stainless steel sinks, nice solid surface countertop material. This is gonna turn into a bed right here. It's about two and a half feet long, so you really wouldn't be able to sleep any more than one person on that bed. These will fold up and out of the way if you wanna load any type of a toy or cargo in the back as well. Then you have your cabinetry up here. You have a lot of windows on the side, so you get a lot of light that'll come into this. Plus your microwave over here and your single Dometic air conditioning system up top. Interesting floor plan. And again, this is designed to kind of be one of those compact daily use toy haulers. So let's say you're gonna take some quads out, you're gonna take some motorcycles out, and you're simply gonna go out to the desert, to the beach, or wherever you plan on going, and you wanna be able to take them with you while still having a place that you can cook a meal, refrigerate your beer, and have a restroom and take a shower. So now looking in the bathroom area, this is kind of a hybrid wet bath. You have a standalone toilet, you have your shower stall, but then you have a sink here in the corner if you want to wash your hands or whatever you need. So it's not a wet bath per se because you're not going to be, you know, using the bathroom and taking a bath at the same time, but you do have the ability to wash your hands here in the sink. That's actually a pretty creative idea. That's the first time I've seen that. 
relatively compact bathroom. It would have been nice to have a skylight in here or maybe even like a frosted window in the back because once this door is closed, if you don't have that light on, it's going to be dark. And this is one of those small compact travel trailers that would be easily accessible, of course, if you needed to pull over and take a quick bio break. If you have to use the bathroom and you are on a long trip, you simply want to pull over, hop into it, take a break, grab something out of the fridge, use the restroom, shoot, even take a short nap at a truck stop. There's no slides on this unit, so you got plenty of space to do that. Here is that intake vent right here. This is what allows air to come in. And then the back one back there is what flushes air out in case you have like a four wheel or something in here that's gas operated and you have the smell and the fumes that just helps ventilate it out. You have a place to mount your TV here and your cable jacks up here. So this is pretty cool. All your tie downs on the floor so you can secure whatever you're going to be loading in here. So something kind of interesting. So even though you saw me standing on carpet, it's just a rug that they've placed here. This entire floor is linoleum, so you don't have to worry about tracking mud or dirt or whatever onto this carpet. This carpet was just cut and put into place so you could walk over this while they were showing it off to the people here. Overall, though, this is a really cool unit. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy these videos at this Forest River Dealer event. If you do, I would really appreciate it if you take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I have new videos that come up, and I'll talk to you again very soon.